Good evening, I'm Rena Nynan. Jeffrey Epstein, the financier arrested on charges that he ran a sex trafficking ring, apparently killed himself today in prison. The FBI, the Department of Justice, and the New York City Medical Examiner's Office are all investigating his death. Mola Lange reports from Lower Manhattan. According to the Federal Bureau of Prisons, the 66-year-old multi-millionaire hedge fund manager Jeffrey Epstein was found unresponsive in his cell Saturday morning. He was taken to a Manhattan hospital but was pronounced dead. Epstein's apparent suicide comes one day after thousands of pages of documents in a civil case between Virginia Gouffre and Ghislaine Maxwell were unsealed. In the court documents, Gouffre, an alleged victim of Epstein, accused Maxwell, Epstein's ex-girlfriend, of directing her to have sex with several politically connected and financially powerful men when she was a minor. Gouffre was among the most vocal of Epstein's alleged victims. You know, before you know it, I'm being lent out to politicians and to academics and to people that you royalty. Epstein was inside the special housing unit, a part of the Metropolitan Correctional Center, where he was held without bail for the last several weeks as he faced federal sex trafficking charges. Just two weeks ago, Epstein was found unconscious on the floor of his jail cell. Arrested on July 6th, Epstein pleaded not guilty to charges that he enticed, recruited, and molested dozens of young girls at his homes in New York and Florida. Epstein's federal charges came more than a decade after his legal team struck a secret deal with federal prosecutors in Florida who allowed him to plead guilty to two lesser sex charges in state court. He served just 13 months in a county jail and was granted work release. Attorney General William Barr said he is appalled by Epstein's death saying it raises serious questions and that the inspector general is opening an investigation into the circumstances of Mr. Epstein's death. A trial date had been set for June of 2020. We last saw Epstein in court on July 31st during a procedural hearing in the Southern District of New York. He appeared tired, deflated, and noticeably thinner. Prosecutors said when the feds busted into Epstein's Manhattan townhouse last month, they found evidence matching descriptions provided by his alleged victims, including a massage table and volumes of lewd photos. Accuser Jennifer Rose said in a statement she is angry at the news. Brad Edwards, an attorney representing Courtney Wilde, another alleged victim, also released a statement saying this is unfortunate and predictable. The victims deserve to see Epstein held accountable. Well, Jeffrey Epstein's attorneys had appealed for him to live under 24 hour guard at his townhouse in Manhattan's Upper East Side while he awaited trial. But of course, Rena, that appeal was ultimately denied. And Mola, as you reported, the attorney general said he's appalled by this death. This is the same jail where there are other high profile defendants. El Chapo just left. Paul Manafort is being held. How will authorities investigate this? Well, Rena, the FBI's investigation is expected to determine whether the Metropolitan Correctional Center here in Lower Manhattan is taking the proper procedures to assure the safety of these federal prisoners. Mola, thank you.